हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज फरवा बतूल एंड वेलकम टू द कोर्स ऑफ ओ लेवल कंप्यूटर साइंस सो टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द एरर डिटेक्शन एंड करेक्शन मेथड्स दैट आर यूज्ड इन डेटा ट्रांसमिशन राइट सो लेट मी टेल यू फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल दैट व्हाट आर द मेथड्स वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी राइट सो द एरर डिटेक्शन एंड करेक्शन मैथड्स आर बेसिकली used in data transmission detection and correction methods right these are basically used in data transmission when you are sending the data from one computer or one device to another so in order to check that the data that has been transmitted is received in its in its correct form right you need to verify that the data that is transmitted must be in its correct form when it is received right so in order to check that you have different error detection and correction methods that if the data has been corrupted or changed due to any reason right during its transmission then you can detect the error and as well as you have some correction methods by using those methods you can even correct the data right so correct that particular error uh, sorry error that has been uh, investigated in the data okay so uh, we have four methods that we are going to study under this particular topic the very first is the parity checks right in this particular video we are going to cover parity checks okay the second is uh, we have check digits right the third one is the checksums and last or the fourth one is the arq that is automatic re repeat requests right so these are the four methods we are going to study okay now moving towards this first method that is the parity checks okay uh let me tell you that the parity checks is basically used in order to detect the error right it's a error checking method error detection method that helps you that the data that has been received is uh corrupted or not right you are going to detect the error if any um uh, in the data that has been transmitted okay so under this uh in this particular method you are dealing with bytes right you are dealing with individual bytes that are going to be transmitted dealing with bytes right at a time you are uh, checking one byte right so let's suppose i have a computer i have a device over here and i am transmitting data to another device right so let's suppose i have a byte um 10110111100 yes a byte has uh one byte has eight bits right so let's suppose this is the byte that needs to be transmitted from here to here so keep in mind that in this particular method we are going to make one byte sorry one bit as my parity bit right we are going to set one bit as a parity bit and this parity bit will help us to um just detect the error right this is basically the parity bit this is not the data bit okay the actual data bits that is uh, specifying the data that is being transmitted is in th these seven bits so these seven bits are basically your data bits and this one bit is assigned as a parity bit for this particular method right so let me tell you what is this parity bit stands for and how we can uh, change it how we can set it right okay uh, one more thing is that this parity bit will be set at the sender's end right before the transmission of data you are going to set this parity bit right so 
okay the next thing and the very important thing is that in the parity checks you have two kind of parities right either you have an even parity or either you are having an odd parity okay so what it means it means that it depends upon your system right it depends upon your machines that what kind of parity you are going to use for the data transmission right so if the it is just like the protocol that are being uh, used and that are being set in between the devices right similarly you are going to set that uh, either you are following an even parity or an odd parity right it is the agreement between the sender and the receiver right so let's suppose if my system uses even parity so what it means it means that if the devices are using this event parity then the sender will set the parity bit in such a way that your byte must contain the whole byte must contain even number of ones right even number of ones this event parity says that if you are following this event parity between sender and receiver then you need to set your parity bit in such a way that your whole byte right your whole byte must contain even number of ones right similarly if you are using an odd parity then you need to set this parity bit at the sender's end in such a way that your whole byte that needs to be transmitted must contain odd number of ones right so let's suppose uh, i have a data that i need to transfer let's suppose my data bits are 1001101 how many bits they are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 these are my seven data bits and i need to set my parity bit before transmitting this particular data right before the transmission of this data i need to set my parity bit so here you uh, we have two options right if we are using even parity for transmission if the devices uh, have set an agreement that they are using even parity for error detection then this particular sender machine is going to set the parity bit in such a way that this whole byte will have even number of ones right so let's suppose 1 2 3 4 let me count the number of ones here so my data bits are having four ones right four ones means that i am having even number of ones over here even number of ones means that you can have um zero ones you can have um two ones you can have four ones you can have Five six, and then you can have eight ones. All the bits can be one. So these are the even number of ones. And for an odd number of ones, your byte can have only one, one bit, or it can have three ones. It can have five ones, or it can have seven ones. Right? Keep in mind. Okay. So my data bit is already having four ones. It means it is having um, even number of ones. So the sender would set my parity bit as a zero why because it is using the even parity if i am using even parity then my parity bit that is going to be set here needs to be zero right so that my total count would be 4 i am counting the number of ones so it will remain four and i need to um, just um, i need to just uh, keep it four because four is an even number so if i just set it as one then it is going to have five ones so for an even parity the rule will be uh, uh, unfollowed right so in order to follow this particular thing you need to set your parity bit as zero so that four ones will be uh, transmitted in the data transmission right okay let's suppose my system is having odd parity then i need to set this parity bit as zero or one i need to set it as one right because 
in a odd parity my byte needs to have odd number of ones right so how many ones are here one two three four five now i am having five ones over here so i hope this is clear to you that how you are going to set your parity bit right if you are having even parity you are following the even parity between the machines then you are going to set your parity bit in such a way that your byte the whole byte is going to contain even number of ones and in this case four ones right and if you are having odd parity system right then you are going to set your parity bit in such a way that the whole byte would be having odd number of ones right we are we have set here one because my data bits are having four ones that is an even number so in order to make it odd for an odd parity i have set my parity bit as one right so that it has become five ones now okay so i hope this particular concept is clear to you now let me tell you that how we can detect error right at the receiver's end so i am coming up with a uh, with another example in order to detect the data or oh, sorry detect the error uh, after the data has been transmitted okay so uh, again let's suppose i have two devices and i am sending one byte of data from here to here right and the byte that needs to be transmitted has uh, the following bits like 0 1 1 0 1 0 0 let's suppose this is and here i am using even parity right i have made an agreement between the machines that both the machines are going to use even parity for error detection right so the even parity means that you are going to set your parity bit in such a way that your whole byte must have even number of ones right so the first step is to calculate the number of uh, ones in your data bits so i have one two three i have three ones over here right so since i am using even parity i need to make it make this number as even right so i need to add another one over here to make it four ones right so my parity bit would be one so that total count for ones is one two three four now i am having four ones and four is an even number right so for an even parity i must have even number of ones in my byte so i have said i have just set my parity bit as one right for this example okay so this is the byte that is transmitting right this is the byte one zero one one zero one zero zero this is the byte that is being transmitted by the sender machine right so this is the medium let's suppose this is the channel through the uh, through which this particular byte is being transmitted and then we have a receiver at this side okay now let's suppose uh, the data has been changed or has been corrupted and any of my byte has been changed from 0 to 1 let's suppose my this second byte has been changed from 0 to 1 right so it will become one zero one one zero one one zero right let's suppose my data has been corrupted has been changed due to any reason due to any distortion in the air or any it can be any reason right your data has been changed at the receiver end and i have mentioned that how it has been changed by this bit the second last bit has become one now from 0 to 1 right so this so how can we detect this error how can we find that the data has been changed by using parity check right so as we know that the agreement between the two machines were even parity right so at the receiver when we have received the data we are going to count the number of ones again right so for an even parity i must have even number of ones but if i am going to calculate 
or is going to count once over here then it will be 1 2 3 4 5 now i am i am having five ones what it means it means that uh, my data has been changed right so since i am using even parity and then at the receiver end i have found that my data my whole byte is having five ones that is an odd number right how can it be possible it cannot be possible it is only possible when you your data is not um, sent correctly or it is incorrect right so this is how we are detecting the error right at the receiver's end when your parity has been changed the parity that has been followed is even and when you calculate the parity at the receiver's end it has become changed from even to odd right if it has been changed from even to odd it means that the data that has been sent is corrupted or is changed right so uh, i hope this thing is clear to you um, i hope the these this parity check this topic is clear to you another example let's suppose my byte that uh, my data bits are 110011 one, one two three four five six seven right these are my data bits and i am using odd parity right this time i am using odd parity between the devices uh, this is my receiver end right so one one zero 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 one one okay for an odd parity i must have odd number of ones and if i see my data bits one two three four my data bits are having four ones so to make it an odd number my parity bit needs to be one right i should set my parity bit as one in order to make the count of ones bit as odd so now i am having five ones over here now if this data is transmitted and is corrupted due to any reason for example this time my uh, this particular bit has been changed from 0 to 1 right so it will be like 1 1 1 0 1 0 1 1 right this bit is changed due to any reason then if i am calculating the parity at the receiver's end right keeping in mind that i am using odd parity then my number of ones must be odd but if i calculate my number of ones in this particular byte then it is one two three four five six i am having six ones over here S since it has become an even number now so it means that my data has been has been corrupted or has been changed right so this is how you are going to detect the error if your parity has been changed at the receiver's end you are using the odd parity and when it came to the receiver it becomes even or vice versa if you are having even parity and at the receiver's end it becomes odd then you can uh, just say that the data has been corrupted right this is how you are going to detect the error so i hope this is this particular thing is clear to you right so thank you so much for watching this video and please thumbs up please like the video share the video with other friends and subscribe the channel if you haven't done yet okay so thank you so much for watching it and in the next video we are going to discuss the check digits right with the example so thank you so much for watching take care bye bye